I guess I'll die. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. <sighs> old kid songs. I miss them. Yeah, but they have a ring to it. They don't make much sense, but... <laughs> Yeah. I mean, she swallowed a horse Ooh. at the end, so of course she died, but damn it. What that mouth do? Apparently a lot. Damn. <laughs> Probably wasn't you. <laughs> An elephant blowjob, anyone? Ooh. Actually, in the world of D&D, she would be famous. <laughs> Uh, oh. hey. Fuck. Uh. Favorite, f favorited by Loxodon. Ah. Uh. So, uh, good to see everybody's here. Huzzah. Uh, how's uh, everybody lived? How has everybody been this past week? Uh, you know, almost died in a burning car. Right. Wait, what? Sorry, what? Okay, you're gonna have to go into detail now. <laughs> yeah, you know, driving down the street, car says, Hey, I'm overheating. Pull over into a parking lot, open the hood. It does a different impression of the human torch. <laughs> Whoa. Oh god. Yeah. I hope you so have... do you do you do you still have a car? <laughs> oh, was it my car? It's my sister's car. But does we she still both... have a car? Uh no. She doesn't. That was her I, only car. I mean like physically the car still exists. It just doesn't run. I mean, it's still there. But you're oh, never God. gonna move it without a tow truck. So, <laughs> so you does your sister hate you? I mean, I didn't do it. <laughs> but does she still hate you? I mean, she did tell me to leave, so I left. <laughs> Just leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing to fix this, <laughs> unless you're a mechanic. <laughs> Turn back time. It's easy. Mm. <laughs> let's, let's see. I mean, I got a snapshot. Of... Oh boy. I'm sorry. Did, did what do you say? I, I have a pic of it. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, the orc lady Araxis is done. I will send it. I will send it to you now. Nice. So. Now comes the true test. So, is everybody is everybody cool? Is everybody doing all right? Uh, since one of you nearly died today, but not today, but this week by burning alive, anybody else has some cool stories to share? <laughs> no, my life is <laughs> my life is something else. Look at your cocky oh. egghead. <laughs> God. So, I guess since everybody's here, I guess we can start a session, right? Cause session eight. Look at that. We're we're doing consecutive sessions weekly now. <laughs> no, no more interruptions. We are going full force. Finally, maybe, perhaps. Don't jinx it. <laughs> maybe, perhaps. <laughs> Question to you, Iraxis. Uh huh. Has uh, the this Friday group changed at all uh, from the last from the first time I've? Uh... uh well, in total there were supposed to be six people. Uh, two of them decided to say no while like in the past few days of the session, and one of the people literally no. Wait, no. Uh, it's one people said fuck all in the week coming to that. One person literally decided to say no in the f final hours. Like, on I'm not talking about the ones that finally didn't came. I'm talking about the ones that I drew. 
Oh, Chad. The human. <laughs> the, the the one with the nice little barbershop hat, hat. You know, that one. So he's gone? Yeah, he, he basically said, nah, uh, I got stuff to do, but I still saw him fucking... Uh, I still saw him fucking DM me about the new session, uh, about the new fucking campaign that he promptly deleted. Which makes you think. Which makes you think. <laughs> uh, I his ass from, from uh, my drawing board. Eh, keep it. Involved. Anyway, um, yeah, session 8, everybody lived. Nice. Sting. You know what? Make that fucker an NPC. He is an NPC. <laughs> He's traveling with a twin. Oh boy! So, he, he, well, doesn't he look like the type to have a twin? An exact duplicate twin? As they all both sing to you about their sales. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> could could be a quartet of of siblings. Hmm. Think about it. <laughs> you never know. Think about it. Think about it. Think about um, the children! Alrighty, but... I guess time it is, since everybody's present, I assume, right? Terry, Julie, Warum, Gen, all of you here, right? I am Cool, cool. Cool. So, last we left off was you literally uh, in the middle of a werewolf fight that you didn't even know how poorly it will go, and you, some of you had this like mm, this nice little hunch of like, maybe we should just abandon Terry uh, to his fate. Mm -hmm. But with Terry's uh, prowess in martial and arcane capabilities, dispatching to uh, dispatching the first and the biggest werewolf in a single uh, turn. Uh, some of you decided to take uh, into the fun, killing all the five werewolves. Uh, got some limbs, overlooked the body, saw the limbs that were still alive and twitching, and what was kind of fucking disgusting. Uh, decided to burn the pyre and move on. A uh, few hours later, again, got the same feeling of deja vu. Uh, same familiar... Um, uh, entity is hiding behind a tree, and but this time it's uh, again shot the arrow. It was snatched by one of multiple limbs of this abhorrent abomination that you basically fought uh, unwillingly or willingly, as it was basically a large, oversaturated tick with corpses consumed maybe by the dozens, if not hundreds, limbs by the dozens. And just disgusting creature overall that you killed. Uh, besides killing the creature and knowing that there is one less horror in the world uh, because of you, you also felt a sudden urge or a surge of power uh, going into your being. This gaining mythic level one. So, decided to head a bit more west as uh, time was of the essence. Uh... And found some uh, some nice tracks of boar that led into a cave. A plan was hatched by Warum to basically um, scare the boars away. And uh, yeah, it worked without a hitch. You salvaged quite a lot. Uh, got the coats or the furs and the meat. And decided to set up nearby. Uh, the night passed calmly without a hitch. It was cold outside, but besides that, nothing uh, to catch attention. And all of you kind of had this just heart-to-heart uh, um, -heart moment with each other in the early mornings of uh, this cold forest. Because it was still dark enough uh, that you didn't really see the path where to go. And you kind of waited until the morning sunset. Some thoughts, some words, some backstories for exchange. And with that finished, uh, the first true rays of light uh, were shown and the dark forest started to gain first light. So, with that being said and done, what would you like to do? Hmm. 
Um, yeah. I... Oh, I... Uh, looks good. All right. Um, so it's it's just fresh morning at this time. So I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna look around, to get a feeling for the surroundings. Um, and I guess perception check around just to see what's up. Only perception check. It's gonna be bad, but you know I'm gonna try it anyways. Give me a second. I uh, just want to check why the dice roller isn't working for me. Nice. It time. only serves me. No. Um. <laughs> well, besides the misty uh, uh, aura that permeates like two feet off the ground. Uh, being quite cold and quite wet. Nothing really catches your uh, attention. Well, all right, gentlemen. Um, we were planning on seeing the other goblin tribe, or does anyone want to double back and check in on that witch? Hmm. Well, if we are what we think we are, maybe we should head to the closest kingdom instead of um, Goblin. Oh, yes. Yeah. I forgot we were in the kingdom, my bad. Oh, uh, oh it's, it's been a long week. I can tell. Yeah. All right, so, so yeah. Um, any idea then, which direction the kingdom would be then? I'm not exactly sure from this location, but I might have an idea. Um, can I roll a history or intelligence check to kind of guesstimate like where a kingdom would be versus where we are? Uh, uh, sure, roll me a history check. Sure thing. Just want to make sure. No. So, uh, you know that you personally never have been in this location before, nor by your surrounding, like, by your knowledge of the surrounding areas where you lived and where you edit your um, stuff and where you basically, um, well, basically stay for your entire life. Uh, there are no, like, forests like these that are uncivilized. It's and go for miles upon miles there's a few few like patches of like uncivilized forest but it's always by big mountainous areas which you don't spot any any like resemblance to whatever you're looking up in the sky uh wherever you are at this very moment you have never been here nor you would know where you are in the world Hmm. Well, I don't have this location memorized, but I might be able to do some scouting from the air. That probably will give us the best results. I'll head out in about an hour. For now, I think we should just get tied up. Okay. I'm sorry, tidy up in an hour? I snap my fingers, tiny hut's gone. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to mount up and scout from the sky. And I want everything packed for when I get back. Uh, so we can I mean, make up. This is, sorry, I've, I've got a question. What happens if people are in the hut when you, like, cancel it? Do we just get forcefully ejected? Yes. Or... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're just you're just standing there in an empty spot now. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. I wanted to think it was like a a balloon that was like deflating, and everyone got fired out of it. No, it's more it's more like wherever you were sitting, you just basically just there in the material world, and you just if you were sitting in the bed now, you're just like having a, a like a two in, two feet fall into the muddy ground, just like. Thanks. It's okay. <laughs> 
a quick way to get wetty and dirty really quick. We're just like... getting wet and dirty. Gonna get in wet and dirty. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not going to take us an hour if we're just like standing there with our meager positions already. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, so. Um, okay. Check. Jacket. <laughs> check. Okay, I'm good. It's like bag, cloak. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Which one of you have the best eyes? I mean, yeah. I mean, I can be a fairly perceptive, but it's not really my nature. Hmm. All right, well, whoever has the best among you, you're coming up with me. All right, so I'm going to cast Raider Steed, and I'm going to pull in uh, my Griffin. Okay. And... All right. You see just yeah. a fucking, you just see a nice, shining, uh, golden plume covered griffin material ass out of nowhere. So you're telling me you could have done that the whole time since we've met you? Yes. Mm. Fucking okay. Chad. <laughs> Anyways, um, get up on back. I am going to. Okay, there we go. So uh, yeah, I, okay. I get up on the front and kind of pat the uh, back end of it, and like, all right. So who's coming up? All right, I guess. Okay. Um, <laughs> so again, you take uh, the back side of the Griffin. Uh, so while they both take flights, where are you gonna go? So, um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do basic circles around the area and then kind of go on where I would hopefully see some leads. It really depends on what we see. Yeah, no, I'm asking, I'm asking the rest of people on the ground, Warum and Julie, are they going to just stand there, wait for someone, to, for them to return or? Um, yes, me and Warum <laughs> alone together. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, with the uh, Dovkin, Prince, the Orc, and Chet just gonna stay there in a single spot to wait. Is that correct? Okay. I'll look down at Forum and just yeah, smirk. I'm just down there looking up. Very, <laughs> yeah, very questioning. <laughs> so, you, uh, you ready to try and get your bracelet off? <laughs> as, as far as dwarves mm. go, keep your feet on the ground. <laughs> no, how no? <laughs> no? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so you're just gonna keep an eye contact on each other while they just gonna go fly. Alrighty, again, and. Mm. Uh, and uh, Terry, literally, if you watch the stream for at least a second, this is literally what you see. This is literally what you see when you get Got up in the sky. Basically, a sea of brown, yellow, and mist, as far as the eye can see. No signs of civilization, no signs of cut down trees. You're in the middle of fuck knows where in the middle of autumn. Uh, I would like both of you to roll me perception checks, or one with advantage, your choice. Oh, yeah, no, I'm giving the, um, our friend here an advantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, nuts. There we go. Oh my fucking god, a 30. God dang it, dang, dude. So. Flying in circles. 
It's a very thick, dense uh, forest that you are in. Uh, you see occasionally tiny birds, maybe crows, maybe ravens, maybe some uh, um, woodpeckers just flying from tree side to tree side, mind their own business. Nobody really claims the highest skies like you two with the griffin. Uh, it's misty. You don't see any signs of rivers or any source of water. Uh, and just looking all directions, e either be from from north to east to south to west and back to north. You basically see that it's like, how to say this? Like mountainous slums that go up and down like an endless forest as far as the eye can see. And you can fly pretty high up and you assume that it's like on, on just to like to like just traverse this place depending if you know just like where you want to go. It's probably going to take like a few days if not a week depending on where you want to go because like there's no signs of civilization or anything. The only the only like uh, landmark that you know of is that mountain that you pass with the giant with the giants inside eastward. Uh, but right. But besides that, there's really not much else to say about this place. It's thick. You don't see anything of civilization. Uh, wow. so I I, yeah, I, t I tap you on the shoulder and shake my head no, and then point back down. <laughs> okay. Right. So, it takes a good 10 minutes, and I'm assuming for the sake of humor and hags <laughs> these, Avoram and Julie just keep having a fucking staring contest. <laughs> they got more and more aggressive and everybody just awkwardly watching. <laughs> Until you all just fucking you, you see the fucking griffin just crash back to the ground and just kind of stand there triumphant as you both get off it. Someone was having a good time. <laughs> mm. Is everything all right here? I mean, you can cut the sexual tension with the knife. Yes, yes, everything's fine. So, where are we? Where are we going? And how far away is it? Well, we're in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. That is a bad yeah. answer. Can I have a better answer? <laughs> There is nothing within miles. This is not good answers. What's the good news? Ah, uh, Warum, uh, Chad just approaches you. Uh, uh, Chad approaches you, the tall, uh, charismatic human. I think what he's trying to say, it's good news that we're still alive. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and also no. <laughs> Mostly yes, mm -hmm. but... Uh, mm -hmm. I'd like something to live for. Mm -hmm. And as much as I love uh, all of your company, deliberately <laughs> doesn't look at Julie. <laughs> 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 I, uh, a general life goal or direction would probably be uh, quite beneficial right now. Well, we can keep going north and then try again. Then then repeat. Uh we can keep heading west and go the only direction we know of where we are likely to run into something either works for me i mean a decision needs to be made let's go yeah, i guess we take it oh i mean i'm good with going west what it's just i mean there's literally nothing that can be seen it's so misty and stuff just... Anyone have control weather? That would be very handy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks over at Julie. I mean, she she's full of surprises. So, unfortunately, this is not one of mine. I I'm more of just trying to stay in control of everything. Hmm. I think. I mean, our only direction we know of is west. 
where we know a possible second goblin vi village or backtracking and going back to the first village. I, I think I see... made the paladin a Latino. <laughs> I don't see much point in going back to the other village, especially like you say, if the paladin is kind of on their to eat list. Um... Well, I, doubt that. I doubt that has any effect out here. <laughs> hmm. But still, I think we've uh, we we profited enough off that first group. We should probably seek out the second, see if they are exploitable. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. Or at least well, they could. Well, the first had a series of wagons and fluid of some type. Perhaps they pick up travelers here often. If so, we could probably find a map in one of their captures. Wait, wait, what? That could be helpful. <clears throat> well, if the goblins had um, loot, they probably got it from travelers. And if that's the case, they probably had maps. So if we go over to the um, other camp, we might be lucky enough to uh, encounter it while rummaging around the stuff. Perhaps they'll allow us to trade for it. Or if there is one. That's, that's a gamble within itself. Let's just, let's just hope we won't have to run into another demon goblin. Hmm. I'd like to avoid those. I'm sorry, demon goblin. What are you speaking of? Mm, freaking. I thought they were just wines. Yeah, not with the last one. Not with the warlord goblin he makes deals with demons. <laughs> to him. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so, if we're all ready then... <laughs> what's, the, what's the decision <laughs> while you stand there? I mean, I'm ready to head west, so... I also vote for west. No complaints here. <laughs> westward, westward, let's fucking go. Oh boy, let me, are, let me, let me just. Let what me... are you, a child? <laughs> do you wanna? Do you wanna go somewhere else, wrong? Well, I'm almost. I'm basically done with, with this, so I'm gonna leave now. Okay. Hope you're happy with it. All right. I am. Thank you. So, um. <laughs> Um, yeah, so finally, West, let me get my notes, okay, <laughs> got him, so, so, northward towards the setting sun you go, even though it's easy, so it's easy to track, I would like one of you to roll me a d10, for that's how adventures begin, would you like me, no, no, Boron's got this one, give one, okay, so, <laughs> it was cold the first maybe 30 minutes, but the uh, uh, rising sun uh, gave this whole place quite a bit of warmth, so all of you are now cozy, and the mist, as, as time goes on, uh, finally lifts. You've been traversing through this forest for about three hours. Uh, I would like everybody to roll me a perception check. Okay. Standard? Uh, or do we get advantage? Perception. Uh, just, just normal perception. No advantages. Oh, I, uh, I can't give someone advantage instead of rolling my six. <laughs> no, I mean, if you get advantage, there's four NPCs to four PCs, so technically all of you can roll with advantage. But this one is with just a straight roll. Because it matters. Yeah. <laughs> I see nothing. Okay. No, do I? <laughs> we, we're just in an argument or something. <laughs> wait, wait, Warren. With, with advantage, right? 
No, it was a straight roll, but Warum, you still rolled 24. So, Warum. Alright. Um. Three hours have passed since you set off the uh, path, uh, traversing through this fucking mucky, uh, warmish, coldish weather. The whole path of just brown leaves and just nothing interesting happening. You start to look around. Uh, well, like everybody else, just looking for prey for anything, and you just kind of bored and just w your mind wanders for a bit and then your eyes lock to this interesting little thing you see it looks like a half-built stone wall that is covered in moss between one of the trees you look a bit closer and you realize that it's in fact is a wall a dead it has like actual uh, brick and mortar holding it together with stones uh, for some bricks as replacements. Just in the middle of the forest that is overgrown by trees and nothing else. Okay, I'm gonna wander. I imagine we're walking relatively close to it. Um. I'm going to walk over to it, mm -hmm. and can I determine either its style or age? Uh, yeah, you can roll me history with advantage, because you have, uh, what's it yeah. called? Masonry, yeah. Uh, also, anybody else would like to just examine this uh, interesting phenomena? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very obviously mm -hmm. staring at a <laughs> bunch of rock. <laughs> Looking at it, okay. Uh, what are we rolling? I'll, I'll uh, it's up to you. You can you can roll a history investigation to just look. As this is like you're walking in the woods, like oh, of this I, abandoned okay. woods. Uh, you roll history, Warren, for just deciding oh, okay. the culture. Uh, all of you just basically walking in the woods, and you just see this uh, fucking nice, maybe four foot tall, um, unfinished wall bit that just covered in moss, and it's just in the middle of fucking abandoned woods. And there's no context to us, so definitely curiosity is picked. Yeah, I'm going to do an investigation check on it. Okay. Wait, hang on, I did that wrong. It should be plus another four, so that's eleven. Let's see. I have faith in you. So, also, again, if you want to roll investigation, roll me with advantage, because definitely people will help. And Julie, Terry, if you got anything else in mind, do tell. Sorry. I'm, I'm just still distracted. Um, I'd probably mock him for staring at rocks, even if they are oh. interesting rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did anyone pick up those broken bolts? The um, after our last encounter. No, you did not. Ah, shame. Yeah. Uh, I would. Orum, why? Why didn't you roll with advantage? Orum, hello. I didn't roll with advantage. Yeah, why didn't you roll with advantage? You got advantage because you're. Tell me to. You're you're a dwarf. <laughs> I told you. I don't roll with advantage. I roll, and then the thing is. You add your proficiency bonus and then. Oh, well, I mean, so pe people I help. One. People help you. Yeah, pe I'll help you. <laughs> people help you. Like, oh, I'll lend you a hand. Yes. Uh, and then that's not meant to be. Uh, should be 10 then. Yeah. Okay. Better. So. Uh, let's go with Warum first. So Warum, um, uh, you realize that uh, it's uh, it's a design similar to uh, hill dwarf um, architecture, as usually um, humans and elves. Well, elves usually prefer wood overall. Uh, humans prefer actual like bricks of clay, while 
while dwarves usually prefer stone, or if they have uh, clay bricks, they usually like to add stone in between to strengthen the wall, using their all sorts of um, co combining agents that uh, basically differ from clan to clan. So you definitely know that this is of dwarven architecture when it was built, or attempted to be built. Uh, again, looking mm -hmm. around, looking at this one section of the wall, um, you it's it's not a long section. It's maybe like six, seven feet long and maybe four foot tall. And there's, of course, bits of like decay and moss and all that. Uh, and you can just start looking around, seeing like, th if this is like a part of a structure or a part of like a bigger thing there must be more something relevant to this and then you realize that there's like uh like there's a section around the wall that is like overgrown with grass like the rest of the forest but no saplings or bigger entities have ever taken place so in the in the place of like grass like in the places of uh Wo uh, trees and bushes there's only grass in this like 20 uh, 30 square foot of space beyond the wall you start looking through that and then you realize there's a lot of stone under the grass that basically mold took over and you start just you know just see what what you can uncover and you uncover a hatch a metal hatch and uh, yeah, uh, I call for call for the rest. Got something over here. Is that so? Yeah, seems like a underground passage. Maybe they point out the hatch. Anybody feel like exploring? Like, that's a perfect use of our time. I'm quite boring of the competitive form. So, do you open the hatch? Who's gonna, who's gonna be by the hatch? Who's, who's hey, um, my guy being the overzealous adventurer he is, if you open the hatch first. Okay, I would like you to roll constitution saving throw. Mm, I'm I'm glad I stepped back. <laughs> Got it. Uh, con save. Yes. Right, so that's a five point. Twins. Uh, as immediately you take uh, as immediately you take um the hatch and just kind of pull it and open the thing. Immediately there's a sudden air difference of incredibly warm, sweet, sticky, and very rotten air just filling your nostrils. Oh. And the first impulse you have is to just basically throw up. Uh, all of you just have the sensation of like some thicker air coming from whatever the basement of this thing is. Uh, but of course you can step away casually and not, not smell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was like Krampus cooking. Oh my god. Smells like there's wolves down here. Jeez. You know, just because you live underground doesn't mean. Gosh, I mean, clean out the. Jeez. Uh, looking downwards into the hole, you see there's a, a metallic staircase with. A bit of uh, like wooden sta staircase with like uh, metal reinforcements, but majority of the wood has been uh, like rotten or damaged by rot incredibly, and you don't really even know like how much weight it would it would support. Yo, so I'm gonna like look down in the hall. And go, it's been a very long time since I've been in a dwarven city or town, but uh. It's usually not this bad. Yeah, uh, and you do see, and do you see, it's like a twenty foot drop, and there is uh, uh, a putrid looking uh, uh, stony surface, a stone floor, but looks putrid. This 
brownish uh, thing, just like a yeah. So I'm like I'm like holding my nose and like stepped away. I'm like, you know, we can just leave. we can just close that hatch and continue on. You don't have to go down there. As much as I would like to walk away and forget this ever happened, there's no telling what information they have on our location. Oh. Unfortunately, he is right on that. Oh, man. But then maybe again they're rotting from there. I mean, that stairway does not look stable. Going down, we might not have a way back out. <laughs> Is there any large rocks nearby? Uh, no. Like older, well, like a sizable rock or something. The only stony uh, structure around is the wall, and besides that, there's oh, plenty of trees. Like is it possible to pry off a brick from the wall? Yep, there is. Okay, I would like to do that. Okay, you you take a bit of just get an angle with your knife and just snatch a brick. I'm gonna come back over and just chuck it at the, <laughs> at uh, the rotten looking wood. <laughs> oh, at the rotten wood? Yeah. Uh, uh some bits and pieces uh, break off, like uh, parts of uh, the wood break off, not entirely, but some damage has been made. And the brick just kind of lands with this half, half, uh, half fud to the ground and you can hear the whole uh, chamber that you don't see just echo with the foot it's not a large chamber from the sound of the foot as it doesn't go the sound doesn't go a lot well, it doesn't look that bad, bad. Is, there, is there any other sound beside the foot like do we hear anything move or uh no just silence Mm. <sighs> okay, I guess here we go. Exploring another place. Who's gonna go Let's first? Go. Uh, I'm just gonna rug and go. Well, I'm probably lighter than a bunch of you. <laughs> <laughs> Me over 200 pounds. Yeah, uh, <laughs> looking at Maybe. So I, I guess maybe I will uh, attempt to quietly if possible head down mm -hmm. uh so have you ever worn um just just out of out of the table question have you ever felt that when you like put, try to grab onto something pull to something you just feel that inherent weakness if you like if you really want to pull something apart you can easily do with that thing you basically feel like with the food it's like it's pretty all right but it has this very squishy breakable aspect to it and you feel like if you really want to just put a little bit more force to a specific like spot you can easily break the ladder um yeah just 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 uh just the uh, right yeah. i'm gonna yeah I'm, I'm gonna like um the, on the ladder i'm gonna like try to hold onto the sides more than like yeah put my weight on my feet yeah so <laughs> i'm gonna like just snap and fall all the way down yeah so step by step easily carefully you descend into this uh place the first thing you realize is of course the porn stench uh second of all using uh what kind of light it has like illuminated the room and using dark vision you start to realize that this is some sort of storage area like a warehouse of sorts. You see quite a few shells that are standing still but have rotten. And they seem to have some sort of contents that have just rotten over time. And when you land on the ground, there is this like like an inch of layer of like this sticky substance on the floor. But despite that uncomfortable sensation of you walking on like this like stuff nothing really seems to be out of ordinary in this place lovely 
Um, how how um, big is this is this room? Uh, psh, about sixty square feet. Okay. Yeah, it's. Uh, um, <laughs> kind of dumb of me, but I'm gonna go back to the ladder just for a minute. Uh huh. And I'm gonna say, um, it smells like shit, but it's. Uh, I'm not dead yet, so going off our previous conversation, I guess everything's great. Uh, is there anything? How tall is the ladder? Uh, the ladder is about twenty foot from the bottom to the surface. Right. Um. Maybe one of you come down. The ladder's a bit dodgy. Um, I'm gonna try and find something a bit more reliable, and I'm gonna go and kind of look at some of the like the boxes on the shelves. Yeah. So do mental, mental kind of calculations. See if I could j like a Jenga. Yeah. So <laughs> roll me a So the first thing you notice after just the uh, the shelves and the book, uh, like uh, just shelves of stuff that has rotted away. You start to look what's beyond the shelves, and immediately from one of the shelves to your left, you see a skeleton just on the ground, laying against the wall. And there's a, a spear that you've seen before of a goblin kind that is uh, that is very well see that it's basically been pierced the entities or the skeleton's heart when it was alive and you just see a bit of a dry blood against the wall hello friend um how, on, a, on a scale of corpse to skeleton how old bully look? bully skeletonized yeah. there is no skeleton. there is no clothing there is nothing uh the only the only run me a medicine check uh, medicine. Where's my medicine? Uh, three. Uh, you recognize that it's probably an old, like, by the amount of uh, uh, skeleton cracks and heels that this skeleton has taken, and by the size and the form of the skeleton, you assume that it's probably a uh, old dwarven male. To die because it got punctured by a spear through the heart and just bled out and died because you know that. Um, there's almost no clothing on that. There's just a few scraps that you seem to have been like deteriorating over whatever the time he was left here. And yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, has mm. anyone else come down at this point? It's up to I them to decide. I say we throw mm. the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll make my way down. Just tell the the others. Uh, just keep a lookout. Yo, yeah. Um, or something if anything jumps out. And I'm just going to uh, be ready in case that ladder breaks to cast feather fall. Just just okay. Do... So and I will cautiously make my way down. Yeah. Uh, the the ladder, uh, the ladder makes uncomfortable sounds, but you make it to the bottom. The sticky surface of the floor meets you. Oh, uh, gross. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give a look around. See the see see Forum standing next to the skeleton. Be like. Oh, he didn't have a good day, did he? Mm. Mm, not from mm. the look of it. Um, yeah. is, is the it, spear is... in usable condition, by the way? Uh, well, it's basically a fully metallic spear, similar size as the goblin ones. Um, there's some signs of rust, but besides that, it is, it looks like a single black metallic rod so looks usable ah oh, well if nothing else it's a walking stick 
Right. Is that the same as the, the spear we found before? Uh, mm. Not quite. The other one was a bit more um, twig like. <laughs> but uh, vaguely, I guess. It's definitely not of human or elf or dwarven craftsmanship. We're not that shoddy. Hmm. Okay, so I guess that means we're heading in the right direction of the other tribe. I wonder if that's what he thought. I point to the skeleton. <laughs> so, there are like boxes and stuff in here. Is anything open or rotted out? Well, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff has rotted away and just like that's the contents on the ground. Um, I mean, you'd look around and you do find yourself, uh, quite a few, um, what's it called? Quite a few boxes of just cloth. Uh, you find a few boxes that are just filled with, like, uh, wood uh, sculptures. Uh, just looking around, Warm, you kind of have this feeling, like, by the looks of it. It looks like uh, wooden sculptures that are like toys for children. As you see, like uh, miniatures of like dwarvish soldiers, elven rangers, human clerics, nicely sculpted in these mini little sculptures. And there's uh, are those in decent condition, or are they rotted. And uh, no, they look like they look like they've been well. How to say, uh, used a lot. As it it doesn't like it doesn't feel like they've been like brand new, but they're not rotten. They are in excellent condition, despite how many years they might have. Okay, I will note them and then continue kind of checking through boxes as I go along. Uh, well, besides that, most of the boxes contain, like, non-spoiled goods, but they're either a half-torn clops or, uh, say, a bits of metal, like, literally just metal or that have not be used. Uh, quite a few of, uh, literatures that have been basically spoiled over time and they're Pages have blackened. Uh, not, not much to get from this chamber. Okay. Do any of the books have um, place names or anything like that on them? Uh, even just on the front, even if the pages are unreadable. Uh, well, uh, two of those, like, you find those three books, two of them have red covers, but have no names. Uh, and the one is, and the last one is actually um, a smaller book than the red ones, and has um, tile name of uh, Diary of uh, Shalkara. Hmm. I'll. Uh, what type of name is that? Is that like um, a common name for a certain? Uh, ro roll me, roll me history. Uh. I will assist, so... Yeah. I'll probably show it to you, like, do you recognize this? Um, history... Not great. This one... Okay. That's actually 20. Okay. So! Interestingly enough, uh, Shiel... Shiel Kara, uh, from what you know, uh, was one of, uh, one of the nobles, uh, interestingly enough, um, a half, a half dwarf and a half elven, um, a child, uh, that had, uh, a claim, uh, to make herself a barony, and the barony was an, uh, thriving, um, county, for a good eight to nine years before the green tide, the goblin invasion started and basically was decimated to the ground. Uh, 
what happened to Shalkara is a mystery. Because nobody actually found her body, nor nobody would, would have been able to contact her. So, assume that she has died. Did, uh, kind of an obvious question, but did they have their diary published? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, no. In that case, I will keep this. <laughs> or if, uh, uh, again, would you like to have a closer examination of it? I mean, you. I, just kind of pulled you, it off the shelf I mean, the one name I mean, that seemed familiar. How do I say this? Uh, the book is humid. Uh, mm. and trying to open. It, the book, like beyond its cover, it has this tie, like that sensation of like something tearing inside of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, just, I see you try to open it, and I like, I like stop you, put a hand over yours, and I'm like, no. Yeah, I kind of like uh, <laughs> close it again. I'm like, mm. yeah, I, not not in the best condition. Uh, I mean. <laughs> We can put it in the bag, and hopefully it'll keep it preserved enough. Mm. For later <laughs> recovery, maybe. Uh, maybe. Um, no. Yeah. I'll Do slide it in. The... There's some cloth. Do you think we should take this? Um... <laughs> Maybe the goblins are really into their arts and crafts, so <laughs> yeah. I mean, makes you bandages if nothing else. Uh, I'm gonna stuff the cloth. Uh, is this same usable cloth? Like, uh, still decent. Yeah, looks pretty pretty usable. Uh, right, but gonna... when if you give a, like a nice pull, like you know, see how sturdy it is. It all just kind of rips open easily. So, I'm going to be very careful with that, but still stuff it in the bag. We have these box of... Seems like toys. Children's toys. Hmm. I, uh, I pick up the dwarf, one of the dwarf ones. I'm like, well, at least they had good taste. <laughs> Dutifully, like, ignore the elf toys. <laughs> Hmm. How how big are the boxes? Like, can I just take the whole box and like of toys and slide uh, it in the bag? Give me a second. Uh, just just DMing the name to uh, Worm there. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to try and spell that. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, the box itself is maybe like um, square foot, like a square a square cube actually. It's like it's like a car, like a really nice dull down cardboard. Like, mm -hmm. not, not cardboard, but more like, a, what's it called? Like a wooden box that has been, like, through many, many years. And it's, like, nice and warm to the touch. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah you, can, you can get all the toys in if you want. Okay, so I'm going to slide it into the, to the bag of holding. Okay. okay. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give like a, a one big look around and then look back at you and say, "I don't think we should stay here, though." Agreed. I'm gonna look. Is, is there, you know, after looking through the books, is, is anything about the walls or anything look off? Off. Like, um, yeah. Um. Well, this whole structure looks pristinely well kept, depending on how all all this whole thing is. Uh, but besides that, uh, just the fucking uh, stench and the uh, shitty floor, everything looks decent enough. Okay, so like, I'm, basically I'm getting like, no hidden doors. Oh, you wanna, oh, if you wanna look for that, roll yeah. me an investigation check. Yeah. Let's see. How's it going down there? <laughs> You're still alive, right? <laughs> Barely. They sound 
good spirits for the uh, situation. Do you yeah. have a rope? I wouldn't want there, to be down there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you look around, but you don't really see anything in this, uh, no, it's like, you touch the, uh, you, st you touch, you look the nooks and uh, uh, crannies, look for the odd brick in the fucking wall, you find nothing. <laughs> Solid dwarven crackmanship. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. Well... I'm gonna make my way back over to the ladder. But not try to climb up it quite <laughs> yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you have rope or a stick, I'll go. I'll even go for that. I mean, you you have rope. You do. I'm down <laughs> here. But <laughs> I realize this has been slight <laughs> oversight by me. <laughs> Throw the rope up. I can. Uh, actually, yeah. Good point. I, I'm gonna. Just... I kneel down, pick up the rock I threw up earlier, tie the rope around one end, and throw that up. <laughs> if I hit an elf with it on the way, adds bonus points. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, and you Does actually, it uh, yeah, you all make up back on the ladder, but it's just like it's like Warren with your last like. Getting glass, you just fucking you just snap the ladder, just like one of those fucking put pieces of crunches and just like shatters in half. The rest of the ladder is still fine, but it's like, yeah, this is not good. When it inevitably breaks, I want something to grab onto. So yeah, can I can I chuck my brick with rope attached to, out of the hole? Yeah. You can. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to take a firm grip on that rope, and um, I'm going to have my griffin hold the uh, exact end of it, and so anyone um, so happens to jump on it will be ready. Okay. Right. I mean, I'll give him a minute. I imagine Gen's also there. Yeah. Yes. Tug on the rope to see if he immediately falls back down again. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll try climbing out. Yeah. yeah. Climb it out. You don't need to make a check or is that fine? No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just a yeah, it's a, yes. I didn't want to fall backwards down into all the sludge. <laughs> it's fine. Get this Yeah. Okay. Uh, after contracted dysentery. <laughs> after making it out of there, like we're gonna kick that latch close and be like, no, never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, so what now? What now? Well, As you're all it's... back on the surface, alive and well, no eldritch horrors in the basement. I do. I do have a question though. Uh, before you decide to do, are you gonna close back the hatch or are you gonna keep it open? No, I I kicked it closed. Okay. <laughs> you just hear. A Doom. And then I place the brick on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're taking the rope off, but the brick stays. <laughs> like, yeah, no. We're we're done with that that right there. I didn't feel it was wasted. Well, that's uh, good. Freaking on a note, um the Goblin tribe may be nearby since we found a somewhat makeshift spear. Hmm. Now that I'm okay. actually in the light, is this spear horrifically grimy? Uh, no, it looks like a. Like, interesting enough, it looks like a black and metal. Like a single long piece of black metal. You realize the rust that you thought it was is actually like that grime, but it's like like very very little on it. Uh, but yeah, this just like looks like a really nice pristine short spear. Um, looking looking at your spear that you got previously from a dead goblin, uh, you would assume that. The black spear is the original, and then the primitive spear is some sort of shitty copy. Replica. 
Yeah, yeah shitty attempted okay. replica. Because <laughs> while this whole metal spear is like a single nice made piece, that one looks like tries to attempt to replicate the thing but fails. Okay. Wow. Uh, is there any rivers, by the way, uh, yeah. that we are near or walking, <laughs> just for me and <laughs> Yes, I was going to ask, like, we need to find the nearest river. <laughs> Because I imagine, like, all of you guys, we, we come out, we're, we fi we're fine. We're not even too grimy, but we have, like, a stench. As we're walking, I'm just casting <laughs> Prestidigitation to make them clean. <laughs> uh, I'm not stopping you, please. Thank I'm... you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, here, here's the thing. Uh, you do not find, like... You, Gen, and Terry, while you were basically above, you didn't see any rivers or any large water entities anywhere nearby. I mean, there's plenty. Uh, there's plenty of like still water puddles from the previous rain. You want some mosquito water? <laughs> oh, I'd, yeah, I'd rather. Cool. I'd rather take the uh, the present dissertation. Thank you. Joe. <laughs> Just two, two of us look at Julie very expectantly. <laughs> you know when we gave, got your magic back for you? It was this moment. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to have to enjoy your smell. I'm already cleaning you too. I, 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 t I take that and I just don't even come. Just mm, thanks. <laughs> uh. As uh, as we're being <laughs> cleaned bit by bit by Julie, um, so where are we going? <laughs> onwards no. or? I believe onwards. I mean, the goblins seem to have went this way or been through here at least. There seems to have been some form of dwarven hold, so. Mm. Although I'm not really sure it's these goblins. That guy was dead for a very long time. So unless they're very stationary goblins. Hmm. Very stationary. Sure. I mean, we don't know if they've just come across this place and have set up or if it's a different set, like... We don't know the entire story of this area, so... It would be nice if we did. Hmm. Well, I mean, the last group of goblins we met were fairly stationary in their little underground bunker. So, possibly okay. these ones would be too? Could be. If those two um, spe spears are... If that's a bad replica of that one. It could be that these two tribes were once one and separated. So... I mean, we could do some more scouting. <laughs> Maybe they're outcasts because, you know, they worshipped a demon, apparently. Thanks for letting me know that one. <laughs> so... I mean, sorry, was I meant to just in front of the demon go, hey guys! <laughs> I mean, we trying to be respectful to our host who decided not to cook all of us in the pot. Mm. I just know that you ate soup with a demon's dandruff. <laughs> I mean, just shrugs, the I mean. <laughs> So, the dissertation just... fell back onto him, just around his nose. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Five minutes late, and you would have been eating me, too. I mean, what's done is done. Can't reverse time, so... <laughs> Not. <laughs> mm. Yeah, <laughs> sure, whatever you say. <laughs> whatever you say to keep her sanity intact, whatever. Whatever lets you sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's it. Are you gonna go west again? 
I I yeah. think so. Keep going west. Um, as we go, do like do we see more of this pieces of wall like around or like structures? Um. Well, that's a very keen eye that you got there. Roll me perception and also roll me a d10 as you continue westward. <laughs> All right. I roll, roll. I have faith in your dice. Uh, God damn it, I press on my fucking buttons and fucking... My fucking cat just just sh jumped on my fucking phone while I was typing, and I just fucking. Alright. You Next little shit. Take... Give me a second. Give me a sec. You little shit. Uh, yeah, stop. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Yeah. It fucking scares me because all of a sudden you just hear me and just jumps on you. <laughs> um. I need a feeling. Um, oh. Not your best role. No, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Can I, can I give him help with that perception roll? Can I just like? No. <laughs> Everybody else can roll the perception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, might want to roll. <laughs> that is not my best. <laughs> all right, I think we've absorbed all of the bad luck. Good luck. <sighs> Did you now? Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yep. Is that your final answer, Terry? Is that your final answer? <laughs> no, making me hesitate my answer. Exactly. Uh, give me a second. I'm just gonna yoink. Yeah. I'm just gonna have my sword and shield ready. I, I don't mm -hmm. trust this force. For so, it is nice midday. As you're traversing uh, fur fur down west. Uh, looking around from left to right, since now you know that there's some past buildings, architecture from previous citizens or uh, people, uh, you start to notice structures, parts of structures hidden in the forest as you traverse. Uh, a wall there, a uh, um, construct of stone there, a very rotten piece of wood that was probably some sort of uh, part of a house there. There's quite a lot of stuff of civilization that was here once. Anything you'd like to do with that knowledge? Well, I mean, it's possible we found our kingdom. Just a couple uh, hundred years too late. Is there any, like, roads or paths? Uh, well, everything you see is covered in moss and grass. Uh, Rome investigation. I would like to check uh... see if there's any tracks, any form or signs of recent activity uh, nature or survival um while worm you don't really well you do find quite a few traces of stone flooring if you look around the the broken architecture but you don't see any road that connects the collapsed buildings or structures there's no like whole singular path that leads somewhere so it feels more like a village rather than a town or something with a central road. yes yes gotcha okay and besides it's not like you've been like in in like a period of five minutes you just stumble upon them, all these structures it's like in the period like an hour and a half of just walking you just see a structure that is not made by nature. And it's not like a... When I say a structure, I don't mean like an actual building or anything. Like, literally just like... A, like, flash remnants that are just... 
just like this, the most like sturdiest part, but whatever the structure was before that, that remained. I'm asking for assistance from one of the PCs. <laughs> well, they need it, but Ooh. you know. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> now, this is gets interesting. Mm. You see... As you traverse through the village and occasionally stop to just overlook the um, stuff of like, like just overlook, uh, overlook the structure, see if there's any more like hidden stuff, maybe a cellar. You don't find anything like that. Um, what you realize again is that there is um, a single track um, of elk, uh, of elk that are passing through here as well. And they came from the north, and they're now, like, were in your area, but now they're going west. Interestingly enough, um, you can see the, tr the, the elk has, has nudged against quite a few trees alongside its journey. And overlooking those trees, you see that the trees have this now greenish fur strapped to its bark uh, yeah okay i point that out um, seems like there are, <laughs> are elk elk were tracking through here um they were rubbing against these trees and now there's this greenish bark well, you see the not the grayish bar, but you also see the fur bits that is also not grayish or greenish, green, green and greenish fur on the tree. Uh, seems like they're going in the same direction that we're heading, going west. Hmm. Something feels off about this whole situation. Uh, Agreed. Well, let's keep moving. <laughs> okay. Guess so. Um, yeah. So, you've been walking for about six hours, awake for seven, if not more. Uh, roll me in a, one more final, um, uh, D10 to see how your more journeys go westward. How how do they go? How do they go? Let's see. And I'll be I'll right back in a second. Also, uh, Terry, roll me four D100s. Oh no! Why am I four. rolling? Four D100. Jeez. Was that why everyone, or was that just you? Just you. Okay. He said Terry, so um, let's see what this means. Ah. The amount of damage you take. <laughs> <laughs> my one turn damage. Fun fact, if I actually go all out and use my, my level 5 smite, I can do over 200 damage. <laughs> Murder is fun. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. I don't like this. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Okay. So it's it's getting a bit darker. The sky becomes grayer, and in come rolling grayish clouds from the south, uh, basically limiting your all. Uh, perception of your surroundings and of course making this entire place a lot more colder than it used to be so traversing through this path continuing towards the west towards the falling sun uh, you you come across a crevice 
like a massive hole that is maybe 40 feet wide. Uh, you can see just by the by what is in the hole, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, structures of stone that have collapsed in, probably under the weight under the weight of like uh, whatever was on top of it. And you also see this like nice uh, underground stream at the bottom, just kind of going for like six feet, like as far as you can see visible, and going somewhere well, somewhere else underground. Hmm. How so? How deep is the crevice? Uh, the the, cre the crevice is about forty. Uh, foot uh, wide but it's uh it's not a steep crevice it's more like a it's more like uh what's it called a like there's some uh, steep edges steep mm -hmm. angles but there's quite a lot of like just like very very nice and low like uh, nice angles that you can just kind of uh walk down if not just uh Yeah. Okay. And there's a stream at down. Yeah, at down. the at the bottom there's just this nice maybe two, three foot uh, wide um uh puddle of water that is just circulating in some sort of underground stream. Hmm. Occasionally you just hear like a, a like a piece of stone or a chunk of dirt just kinda collapse into the stream and get just washed away. That looks a bit dangerous. Mm. I'm not much of a climber. I think this was a, another cellar of sorts. It seems like there was a plumbing uh, issue. <laughs> I have a feeling that last place we were to had a plumbing issue. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Does anyone want to go down this area and explore? Or should we just cross it and keep going? I feel like this is probably more trouble than it's worth. By the way, uh, does the... I, I agree. Uh, does the elk tracks continue? Like, have they continued this way? Uh, speaking of elk tracks... You see, there's a single footstep, like a uh, single, uh, a single pair of tracks going into the water, and then you see one tracks going around, like basically going into the bottom and then going from the stream around and further west. So things like the the elk did trek down and around through there. I mean, you, you, as you look around, there's like, you just need to like walk maybe like additional 100 feet, but you can easily walk around this whole crevice. So, yeah. What's everyone's thoughts? Uh, just walk around and let this be or go Digging yeah. into more trouble. <laughs> I'm I'm for following the elk more and seeing where that leads us. Hmm. Yeah, that Last seems good. Cool. Cool. We got one of our bracelets off, so. <laughs> Alrighty. So now comes the true question. Uh, who's gonna go first? Oh, I suppose I'll go first. Okay. Uh, Julie, I would like you to roll perception. Oh, boy. Right. Also, what was this D's 100 for? <laughs> Not gonna tell you until it's relevant. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> so... 
Julie, going downwards, the first one, it's it's not steep, It's you just need to like balance your steps and not do something hasty, and it's e very easy to just go, and you come across the little stream, it's easy to step around, but before you like start to do any motion going around, you start to see nice shiny glints of silver in the lazily in the lace stream under you. I will immediately stop and kneel down to get a better look at the silver. Uh, you don't know why? Maybe because it's dark, it's getting dark outside. You're quite a bit, not, not in the best place for lighting. It, you can see the, like a few glints of shining silver but the rest of the water looks dark and just not really visible you can't really make it out what the silver is um gentlemen come over here i've i've discovered something at the bottom of this river I, it looks like silver mm. Mm. I would like everybody to roll perception. I can get it. Rolling, per <laughs> Rolling perception with advantage. Wait, me or our friend? Those, those who are looking at the fucking tiny little riverbed. Alright, then I guess me. I'm looking. <laughs> Eight, two. Terry! Terry, Terry, Terry! No, 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 it's again, again. You see also the shines of gl uh, uh, glint of silver, and you realize that it's half open pouch of silver in there, in this river. But also, before you go over joyous, you notice that the pouch of silver is inside of an open mava skeleton. Open mouth of a skeleton. Yes. Can I tell what this skeleton is or was? Uh, you would assume uh, probably a human. Hmm. I am I'm going, I'm going to take out the bone short sword and I'm going to poke in the water at the skeleton and around. And this just looks, you're just looking at him like, what is he doing? Is he just kind of poking around the silver and stuff? And I just look at the rest of you and like, there is a skeleton in this water, so I'm just really uh, cautious. As soon as you touch the skeleton, the water begins to emanate this r red mm. liquid from the skull. Like, it just got some sort of prey in it, and you see the skull starts to move and shake violently. What would you like to do? I would like to stab the skeleton. <laughs> I want to stab it and take, take no chance. Okay. Uh, you start to stab the skeleton, but suddenly you feel like you're stabbing something mostly and fleshy. Until you hear a, scr a screech. And yeah. and and the water clears up, the pouch and the skull are missing as you're just stabbing clear water. I look at the rest of you and I say, we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Whatever that was, that that was the trap. Uh, that I am not in favor of. Um, yeah, um, can I do divine sense? Uh, well, now that you do it, there is no sensation of evil or good anywhere. Uh, wait, no good. Look at my brain. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, no obvious, like, besides yourself. It's like... Yeah, uh, I got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. What? Whatever that. 
something set this up something somehow and considering we dealt with some fleshy giant monstrosity just the other day I don't want to take any chances so let's just go yeah. I remember like it was yesterday uh, I'm back so what are you gonna do why don't you guys head up first I got you back I'll make sure nothing no catches you by surprise so you make through the crevice uh you make don't through there no you make you make through the crevice and you climb back up on the opposite side and yeah uh and you see again that the f foots of the elk continue on. Yeah, let's just uh, keep walking. Okay. So, uh, now, in the truck. now, roll me another one final D10 for the day for... It's getting colder and colder by the minute. And uh, yeah, it eventually just starts to freeze as the first snow starts to fall. Yeah. What, what time of day is it? Or it, is, it, it is about 7 to 8 p.m. The sun is almost gone and you start to feel immense cold and the first of the many countless snowflakes hitting your back, head, and everything that is not uncovered. You guys, you cold. Oh, I'll pull my coat tighter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. The dear, the dear elk tracks. They, they still continue on. Yes, they still continue on. Un until about an hour and a half into this journey, as now the most of this grassy, muddy landscape st slowly starts to turn white. The tracks suddenly takes uh, like a direct, almost almost 90 degrees angle towards north. It's north. I, I, I stop uh, assuming that I'm like ahead following these tracks. I stop and I'm like, okay, a few problems. One, the tracks are starting to disappear from the snow. Two, the tracks are turning north instead of going west. Three, it's fucking cold. <laughs> oh boy. You think it's ready for camp? Uh, I'll look out I, I, from under my coat. I'm fine. I'm not cold at all. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sure. It's all still, still getting dark. I don't think it's too good for us to keep traversing through this unknown area at this point. All right. <laughs> if everyone would like to gather around and Keep an eye out for me. I'll cast my hut. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. I, I'll have... Uh, I'm gonna hit the hay then. If we're so, as you, as you start to cast your the, the, uh, hut and the spell finishes, as the first of you start to get in, as the um, uh, winter... Early winter, late fall, takes the grip of the land. You start to hear distinct howls of wolves in the distance. As you all enter your tiny hut, you start to hear just countless of howls, maybe for like 20 to 30 minutes. Until eventually most of the howls just suddenly stop. Something bigger? No, nope. just a bunch of howls of wolves, and then they stop. Very mm. natural. Definitely. Oh, that was a good idea that we stopped right then. Mm -hmm. 
we definitely be cautious moving forward, whichever direction we go. Something at that crevice set a trap, not just for an animal, obviously, the elk were able to bypass it. That was set up for humanoids. Freaking. I mean, what better trap than money? Yeah, human greed. Always prevalent. Suck to be a human. <laughs> You're only human after all. Something, something human, something human. Okay, so. Um, what would you like? Like, are you gonna take shifts? Are you gonna. That's what we usually do, yeah. Yes, we definitely need to take shifts. Okay, so. I would like you to, of course, uh, write down eight uh, rations. So right. now, now I think you're at seventeen rations left. Because you had yeah. seven from like the fish from the giant, and you got twenty-four from the boar. So yeah, I think you have seventeen okay. rations. So write that down somewhere, somehow. We have, uh, I think 17. Hold on. I have it written down. 20, 23. We have 28. Oh, you have 28? Uh, uh -huh. then 20. Added from the, from the board, the minus the, Eight we first took from the boar, and sixteen plus what we had left over. So. Okay. So and yeah, we're down to twenty. Huh. Okay. So, who is gonna go for the first shift? Let's go. I'll go for the first one. Why not? Mm -hmm. Would you like me try? I mean, perception, please. Seven. Ten. Are you going outside or are you, go are you staying inside? Mm. How dense like is the foliage around here? Uh it's it's dark, there's no moon, there's nothing, and it's snowing. <laughs> well, I ain't going out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, let me let me let me let me change the ambience because now that there's no more rain. Give me a second. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, give me a second. So yeah, uh, you do not notice anything, but you still hear distant howls of the wolves. Hmm. Oh. This much better. For some reason, this doesn't alert me. I'm just like, mm, yep, nighttime ambience. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah, it sounds distant, but you know, wolves are just wolves, right? 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 No. Um, no, they're not. <laughs> who's uh, next no. to me? Uh, yeah, who's going after Worm? We got beast chip, so. I, I suppose I'll take the next shift. Okay. So, Julie, roll the perception. Eighteen. Okay.
So, are you gonna go outside or still inside? Oh yeah, uh, you can't, I, you I can't. can't, yeah. <laughs> Just go outside so everybody <laughs> plops on the ground. <laughs> ha, prank <laughs> bros. But for real. Um, it is... Cold. Just, just the fruit, like few inches off the window, said Emily. You feel the, the, the cold, uh, sudden snowstorm. If you didn't have any clothing, if you had like, oof, it could have been so worse, so bad. Uh, but besides that. You think you hear some sort of rumbling, some sort of growling nearby. Just listening in through the winter, the snowfall. And then you hear an echo in your voice. They're close, dear. They're close. Oh, lovely. Okay, I'm thinking to myself, um... I assume the witch has found us. And she's got wolves. Alright, um... Is anyone else awake? Or is it just me on watch? It's only you. Well, <laughs> you and Griffin. Alright, um, I will... I'll step more towards the center of the hut and just kind of hunker down, but keep my ears out to see if the noises are getting closer or anything. Uh, you hear another voice coming in your head. Shield your heart, for they are powerful yet stupid. As you hear the growling and like a sudden sh snapping and opening of jaws coming closer. And there's this, this like half men in gr low rumble uh, echoes nearby as you start to see uh or not see but feel large uh, hefty footsteps around your uh, around your hut right, everyone i'm very sorry to wake you but we may need to be at attention please everyone get up we are we're oh. we're being seized upon. <laughs> just just magic port colors. Ah. <laughs> uh, um. So. Ah. <laughs> uh, so all you can hear now is this sharp noise of metal uh, grinding against stone. As someone who's walking around is sharpening its claws against the uh, uh, exterior of the hut, hmm. you just hear just like um, you um, hear you hear this. Shh. Oh. Now we can cast the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanna you wanna cast divine divine sense? The class ability, yeah. Uh, gonna... you sense six individuals, large individuals, <laughs> just oh. wandering around. Uh, hamsters are back. Huh? The, the ham oh. uh, the oversized hamsters. Yeah, yeah, maybe you don't know. You just, you just hear, you just hear, just like a, you, you know, you know when you like hold, like they're sharper than their fucking uh, fangs against the wall, and then it just suddenly just snaps them, and you just hear this. Shh, shh. Yeah. yeah, I know that sound. Yeah. Uh, so, how, how many, how many shifts do do we get through, like? Did I rest long enough to have, uh, when trancing, did... For my, oh... 
I mean, technically, wait. Uh, no, because you were awakened before you finished your short rest. And long rest. Well, a short rest is done, but long rest is not. So, yeah. You're in this, right. you're in this nice little hut surrounded by beasts. What would All you right, like to so do? Oh, okay. Well, so, uh, we can either sit here and wait and... Julie, how, how long can you hold this thing up? It lasts for eight hours. So, we have time. We can... There's six of them, by the way. Just in case anyone's wondering. Mm. I'm sorry, no. what was that? Six of them. We got six out yeah. there. They smell awful. We can try to wait them out, but I doubt they're going to leave. The head just literally off. like pops out of existence, doesn't it? Yeah, I believe so. We could uh, literally chill out until then, and then, because we all know when it's about to end, so we can jump out and essentially get a surprise attack on them, <laughs> maybe? As you're having this discussion, you hear one of them start to growl, and quite a few start to growl, and then you hear a few more distant howls in the distance, and all of them immediately start to run off. You better run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, uh, looking out of one of the windows, the whole something. Can we? Can I see which way they're running off to? Uh. Looking quickly through the fucking, uh, uh, through the yeah. window, just glancing, uh, you see all the footprints uh, lead, uh, south, southwest words. Mm, wonderful. <laughs> can I do, uh, can we just throw another divine sense to make sure that's actually it? I... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It is. <laughs> It, you don't sense anybody. Uh, great. That looks like it's clear. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Everybody got to waking up except for a Vora, who's like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm awake. The howling definitely woke me up. Although I, I just like my eyes are half shut. It's. I don't know. I mean, they may have moved out of range. Doesn't mean they're still not nearby. Uh, but they're at least 60 feet away. Oh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> well, 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 well. I mean, what time is it? It is. You don't know what time it is. It's in the middle of the night. It's well, dark. Well, as long as we're gonna like walk off in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. And try to try to get away that just be asking for trouble <laughs> at this point yeah our best bet is just to hunker down mm. at least wait until we can get some form of sunlight and hope that the storm breaks there's no storm so Oh boy. Uh, so who is gonna be the third person who's gonna? Me. That's okay. the last one. Roll me a perception check. Oh, wait. Um, question. Since my Griffin's with me, can he do it instead? Sure. But you roll his stats. Yes. Understand. And is this sight based? Uh, yes, so with advantage, because he has keen sight, right? Yep. You bastard. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 your, your, your bird has plus five to perception? Yep. Ah, interesting. Okay. Uh, it is windy, it is snowing. And it starts slowly to calm down. 
Uh, but your griffin does not uh, screech or wake you up in any time. As I'm guessing, Terry, you lazy motherfucker is gonna just sleep while the griffin does all the work. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I'm Naturally. sleeping it's basically a god dog with a beak and wings. Yeah. <laughs> Feathers and yeah. So yeah. It has quite the hawk, so like if it needs to wake me up, it will. <laughs> uh huh, I know that, but uh, there is no need. Sounds good. Extra nap time. <laughs> But yeah, nothing really happening besides uh, the storm is slowly fading off. So, who's the last one? Who's the last person? Uh, I'll be. I'm pretty sure I'm done now. <laughs> you get up to see it and you just <laughs> see like, the bird <laughs> and it watches. Hooey. <laughs> So, okay. all right, perception. Perception, please. Are we no, not called Perino? Let's go. 31. Oh. Is that you see that the storm is almost subsided, but the winds are howling? You see that the sky is. Slightly clearing off as there's red beams of light coming eastward. The sun is slowly gonna set. But you know that red suns usually mean really fucking cold mornings. As you still see the familiar uh, foot uh, footprints. And now you know that they're in fact werewolves that were in your house. That are still shown heading south. But no additional footprints of them coming back are seen. The, the wind is still blowing. Um, if I... Yeah, I'm gonna step outside and take a look around. Um, I know they were dragging their claws against the cabin. Do I see any Anything else, like any trees they might have marked, or like any obvious signs that they're trying to mark this area to come back to it. Mm. So, no, <laughs> no, as okay, as as uh. As uh, time passes on and you just look uh, about the red sun rising, uh, all of you eventually wake up and all of you have your long rest. Congratulations. Heck yeah. Yeah, uh, congratulations. I messed with the long. Yes. Hmm. I imagine I step back in it mm. in the cold. I'm like, so confirmed werewolves. Um, they seem to go south southwest, and I don't know if we want to continue heading west because we're definitely gonna run into them again. I feel. Where else would we go? And would they not pursue us if they wanted to? I guess you're right. Well, it's Seems not like, like we haven't handled before. I mean, yeah, we'd probably take them anyway. It seems like the more we're going west this direction, just like the freaking owl god, it seems like Something's baiting us closer. That feels like destiny to me. Damn. Let's see. At least I know we can handle werewolves now, so I'm a little bit less stressed about it. Did these seem bigger than the other ones, by the way? Uh, uh, 
did the truck do the tracks look any bigger than the yes way? uh they do oh uh, yeah i'm gonna say yeah <laughs> and you know what you can even like get a fucking uh oh yeah <laughs> the bag of holding um all right we do have a uh, uh, i was about to say um who who's who's gonna check the bag of holding? Who has the bag of holding? I think you're I have, gonna be that person. I have the bag of holding. Um uh, You know what? You could have could have gone like, hey, I have a reference of how big the foot was, the the ones we fought, to this one. <laughs> and as soon as you put your bag of holding, like hand in the bag of holding, you suddenly feel a lot more fur and a mouth and a uh, and eyes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I do. I'm standing outside. I'm like, let me compare. Um, uh, oh. Oh, 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 and I pull my hand out. Never mind. Are the wolves bigger? <laughs> that was my <what> concern. <laughs> I, I, mm, when I feel the, when I feel the mouth, do I feel like ear? Like, do I feel breathing coming? No, out? you don't. Oh, okay. I am going to. Against better judgment, <laughs> pull, pull on this head. Um, like all of you, all of you just fucking see a eight foot fucking uh, werewolf just flop to the snowy ground dead. Uh, hamster. <laughs> well, if we want to, uh, I think that's so, all. If we want to start a business. That's kind of that solved. Werewolf. Uh, Infinite supply. Cut off the roots and then regrow seems like a good business to me. Yeah. Uh, I. Mm, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just you just have this fucking uh, werewolf just dead face first into the snow just. Like... Does it I... look as mangy as it did when it first died? Yes. Uh, so no salvaging any fur from it then. I mean, you could salvage fur in quotation marks, but <laughs> would you really want to wear it? No, no, I don't. Actually, I want to burn this. <laughs> to burn. Come on, it ain't much different than pigskin. I mean, uh, you're more than welcome to. It. If you need, Thank if you, you need, if you need to reference how disgusting these werewolves are, just imagine fucking bloodborne wolves. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. No, you're you are more than welcome to have it. And I gesture him over to it. Eh, that's better inspection. I mean, oh. these are regenerating, so what would even happen if we made a coat out of the fur? <laughs> would you mm. like so would grow until you <laughs> are the coat. <laughs> <laughs> you grow into you are the wolf consuming you freaking you know this would make a fine poison you feed someone a bit of this it regrows within them and then uh, don't mind me God. <laughs> I, I, I mean are you wrong. okay who hurt you <laughs> Uh, I, I thought I was imagining like you wear as a coat and like the ribs go around and it works like a belt, but mm -hmm. I thought that was grim and you went like an extra step. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're wearing in this regenerate, I'm thinking it's pretty much going to consume you. <laughs> Especially you know, I, I, if it's alive. You know, I think we should uh, cut off the hand again, put it in a bag of holding, and see if it regrows again. <laughs> you want another one? Another yeah, experiment. I'm up for this experiment. Alright. Cut getting, off, like, a leg. trail of dead werewolves behind us. <laughs> Peace offering to the wolves. We all make them every there. mile. It, it reminds me, it reminds me of that fucking, uh, uh, why people been here? How do you know? Wapes. It's like it's like 
the party was where here. How do you know that werewolves? <laughs> this is a warning. Yeah, we can leave this as a warning to the wolves. Like a warning, yeah. a gift, <laughs> trade. <laughs> really, live this possible. I mean, we just we just leave a trail of wolves lift, missing limbs <laughs> as we go along. Hmm. Just... Like every mile, <laughs> just leave a limb. Well, uh, no, we we cut the limb and we leave the rest of the wolf because <laughs> all we need yeah. is the limb to reach it. All we need. <laughs> but do you know? Cause we don't want to lose our werewolf supply. <laughs> So, are we sure that any part regrows into the full version? Because otherwise, the tooth mm -hmm. I've got in my pocket would have grown into like a wolf skull at this point, right? Wait a minute, you can probably. <laughs> I I mean, I mean, we did take two legs, and then I I pull out a whole wolf. Wait, mm. does that mean there's another wolf in there, or did like the two legs regenerate one whole wolf? You should check. Just you put should your hand in the bag. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Just put my hand back in the bag and feel for another head or the other leg. <laughs> no, don't find any. <laughs> okay. So they seem oh. to have joined back together. Right. So it seems the two. My vote is we cut off an arm or a leg, but only one. And then we leave one every mile or so. And then I we can keep, agree. like, the torso. Because then, presumably, that's the majority. Well, it might not as well if the original body is still here. We might have to burn it. Hmm. I, I mean, I'm not so... Sh I mean, I know it's dead, but we don't know what these freaking things are. Besides regenerating, obviously, we don't really know what these if these things can just jump back to life after a while so here's a better question uh whatever is causing this problem i wonder if they can detect the fact that we have a werewolf with us what? What is that? i mean i can detect werewolves and i don't i haven't created them i mean who knows how far away someone who has can This is weird. Should we, should, uh, you know? Oh, oh no! You just told me that, didn't you? Oh my God, no! I was streaming in RimWorld all this time. Fuck! <laughs> well, you know, RimWorld, you decide what to do with body parts. Yes, but fuck! <laughs> fuck, dude! <laughs> fuck! Ah, oh, oh, the crit! Mm. Why? <laughs> Nobody warned so, me about this. What is our verdict on the um? I I corpse. I need I need to walk around. Give me a second. <laughs> Can we even fit it back in the bag? Or do we need to cut it I, up and fit it back in. I mean, after pull, I'm, it, the freaking I think it's larger than the bag now that has been pulled out. Full, mm. full. Because it wasn't even like a, a a normal bag of holding; it was quite a small mm. one. Um, I mm. think if we want to try to dimension, um, yeah. when we were surrounded last night, someone uh. was speaking directly into my head, telling me to steadfast my heart. Not the normal. And that... oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, that guys, is... fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, Just, it's, not, it's kind of like a new thing for you. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 it was it was a new voice. It was a new voice. A, a new I look thing. at you and I'm just like <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> so someone was telling someone was telling you about these wolves before the wolves showed up? Yes, it was some sort of warning. I, I assumed. I, I thought it was just going a little crazy, but then you know. Well, I wouldn't disregard that uh, possibility, but. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to slice off the front two legs again and stick them back in the bag. <laughs> Alrighty. Forum's gonna like uh, 
actually take the, uh, the the fact you heard this voice quite seriously, but he's gonna like walk up, put his hand on your shoulder, and be like, oh, "This is taking a toll on you. This whole experience. First, you can't see. Now you hear voices. <laughs> <laughs> we care about you. We worry." Uh, uh, I can cast. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, you know what? You know what? <laughs> I, I do appreciate your concern. You are a very kind soul. Very and, sincere face. <laughs> and, you know, I I feel like your kindness should be returned in kind. Oh, I'm no. going to help you with that bracelet now. And I'll no, I'm fine, thank on. you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to snap my hand back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, we might be able to reattach them after the fact with a mm, good might, healing spell. Might. I don't like that word. I'm all for performing um, <laughs> drastic measures, but uh, preferably not in the middle of the woods, surrounded by wolves that will follow blood, probably. I, like, oh, I get this is a win-win situation for you, Julie, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm I just calling you. I think I'm fine. <laughs> Freaking wolf. Like, hey, you mind burning the thing? Yeah, like, after cutting the limbs. Like, can you burn will help the you with thing? that. And I very, I make any, I quickly escape from Julia. <laughs> oh boy. Heat metal has a 60 foot range, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, theoretically, all we would... Have you tried just dispelling magic on it? I mean, I have the spell. Oh, um... It's, that's I an idea, try. but I like my idea. <laughs> I'm, was... I'm sure. Uh, judge man, I, are you telling me that, uh... Unwilling use of magic on another person isn't illegal in whatever kingdom you're from. <laughs> well, based on what I can see, we're not in much of a kingdom. I right mean, now. we're not in his kingdom, even if it was. <laughs> you're a terrible role model. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, seriously, Pen, give your wrist over here. Let me try to spell magic on it. Ah! Um, uh, I like my uh, wrist. Uh, anyone else uh, feeling well, adventurous? Will not remove your wrist. It might, am I missing something here? Um, uh, well, I, in case there's any kind of countermeasures to the whole dispel magic thing. Uh, so, uh, besides you three, there is also four other NPCs. Chud, the orc, the prince, and Dovkin. Uh, the prince is like, yeah, I'd be willing to risk it. Uh, so, like, I, I, I grab his wrist and I use Dispel Magic. At which level? Um, oh, I didn't think of that one too much. Alright, we're, <laughs> gonna, we're gonna start on me. Let's start on three here. Oh my, roll me an intelligence check. I really oh wouldn't. Alright, well, roll an Ar Ar Arcana check or just plain intelligence? Intelligence. Got it. I'm just sitting there like a five. Um, you just see, you just see, you just see the magic of the dispel magic go into the bracelet, and you see, and you feel, and you hear suddenly the bracelet suddenly just gives some sort of creaking sound, and then immediately you see uh Prince go on his knees and wince in pain as the bracelet starts to ooze out blood. Uh, 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 try, I, I, I tried to tell you. Maybe fifth level will do it. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> stop! Ram goes from like a face of, oh my god, to I told you so, to oh god, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Prince was trying yeah, to stop back and just like, no. I, I put a hand on your shoulder and I'm like, if it was that simple to just dispel these things, we would have been had them off. And I'm like very pissed off now. 
<laughs> um, all right. <laughs> okay. You weren't here, so you don't know, but this took the power of an actual god to remove hers, and I just, like, thumb over to Julie. <laughs> Oh, that would have uh, been nice. Hold up hand and do the little Beyonce wave. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been very nice to know. Oh, gosh. You know, mm. how about you make yourself useful and light that corpse up so we can continue moving? <laughs> All right. Just firebolt it. <laughs> <laughs> Just start, like... Start walking like I'm. Yeah. I'm upset now. <laughs> You're upset now. <laughs> so yeah. Um, just continue going west, like my. Yeah, I'm still going west. Just going west. Just start walking. Just throwing my hands in and out. Just like fuck. Let's go. <laughs> oh boy. You know what? Fuck, I just realized, oh, fuck. I could have I could have got some pizza, yeah, but no, fuck. <laughs> you made a mistake, man. Oh, dude, I cringed too much. Ah, oh, dude, from bad to worse, everything is going bad. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, whoever is not having clothing at the moment properly are currently fucking freezing, and the ones who do are cold. I got, I, I got a fur coat, so I'm good. Yeah, well, uh, everybody <laughs> has, uh, so only Chud and the fucking orc are suffering freezing damage each fucking hour. Nice. Uh, that one. Uh, Second. so. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, okay. It is not gonna be great for them. So, where do you wanna head? As you light this fucking werewolf's corpse on fire. I think the west. Going west. Still, still going west. Woo-wee! Uh, I mean, the wolves show they're they're going southwest, and we're going west. Wh what uh, what about the uh, elk elk's footprints that were going? The north? elks were going well. All right, pause. <laughs> <laughs> I pause, going west, stop, and I'm like, are we sure we're going west? Nope, we're going north, and I just point north. Aye, aye, aye. All right, now, following random animals seems, um, seems as organized as we've ever been. I mean, west, southwest, we're going towards where the wolves ran off. Going north, we're going towards Elk. I I don't fucking know anymore. Yeah, I can see that. Um, uh, uh, the rest of you, any thoughts? Um, Julie, did the voice in your head say anything about continuing west or no? <laughs> I don't know, the voice was just warning me about the impending doom, but, you know, Tiny Hut kept us safe through the night. Yeah, it does that. Um, anyways, so, uh, well, we have two options here. The elk will probably lead us to a stream, as the elk probably know the location. And if there's a stream, usually there's civilization around water. We could follow that. Um, or we could trust this voice wants us to do something with these werewolves and go southwest, but uh, I'll leave the option up to you guys. I mean, we've been trekking west this whole time for... <sighs> as much as I don't want to obey the voices in Julie's head, um, <laughs> I do know we are looking for a person with the magical abilities to do so. Mm. So, I very, very hesitantly vote 
for the voices in Julie's head. Oh, God. Uh, wouldn't be the first time I trusted them. Anyways. <laughs> <sighs> well, I guess it's freaking what? west, then. So are we going straight west, or are we going to go southwest and follow the wolf tribe? I mean, honestly, worst comes to worst, we kill another demigod and become even stronger, right? I mean, when you put it like that, a bunch of wolves don't <laughs> seem that dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. If you die, so, oh so south, day. southwest, towards the pack of the wolves, right? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Alrighty. Finally, finally, some choice in the matter. No more West. Uh, well, I mean, if we... uh, so a D10, if you will. Alright, who hasn't rolled a D10 yet? Should roll for this one. Right, go for it. Go for it, Joey. You're hearing the voices. Alright, voices don't steer me wrong. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Uh, oh, no. uh, I would like everybody to roll me perception with advantage. Also, Ooh. my bird gets you too. Yes, <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> so, let me let me just think. So, 66 for. The freezing people, 17 cold damage. <sighs> Alright, that's I mean, my burden. And I we, do, we do have a couple of pelts. They haven't really been tanned, but can they just like tie them around them for something? Yeah, they can. It's not nice. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's icky. I mean, it's better than nothing. Oh yes, that's going to be a 26 in perception. Thank you. Oh my fucking god. Damn, what a 27. Uh, I don't <laughs> think not, man. 27, let's go. Um, but yeah. Oh fuck, I just re- Oh, I can, I can have some- mm. I'm like, now thinking food ideas, just looking at some stuff, but fuck. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because it's fucking almost eight. Okay, so uh, going and going and going towards the path, following the. Are you are you directly just following the path of the wolves, like the the werewolf of paw prints, or are you trying to steer away from them? I mean. Mm. I'd not actively be on the path, but I would have the footprints within sight and be going in the same direction. Okay, yeah. so in that case, it takes you about uh, two hours of traversing, and there's about half a, half to a foot of snow everywhere, and you just, with each step, there's like this small chance of you just slipping, because there's mm -hmm. like a lot of like ice that has frozen over the night. That was from the previous rain. Um, and you, after two hours, you just come across a ledge. Mm. That, 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 that leads down uh, to more forest below. But it's a steep drop of about over a hundred feet. And you see, and you see, and you see the werewolves, uh, uh, see the werewolves, uh, Print just go off the head from off the edge. So you guys want to jump? <laughs> so, like, if we look, oh, like, does it look like they tried to climb down? Or no, like no, it's just, <laughs> just, just running full force, and there's just, uh, uh you know what? Wrong perception check. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who's rolling us mm. perception? I I'm rolling one, so uh, I'm I'm just gonna help you. Just take it in. It's just just no. Yeah. All right, I'll I will definitely accept. So. Oh my god! So again, 
looking downwards, there's a lot of pine trees, not the leafy kinds. And, well, while not mostly, it's the majority of it. And you see quite a few of them have um, shaken off their uh, snow that was is covering the most of them. And you see quite a few bits of snow that are still on the trees are heavily blooded, but bodies are missing. Oh my god. Yeah. So, so how's it looking down there? Oh, it looks like the, the werewolves thought they were freaking Santa's reindeer and tried to fly, <laughs> fell, and still got up and walked away. So, I mean, yeah. we did chop up legs and it came back. I feel like broken bones ain't too much compared to that. Oh boy, oh boy. That, that doesn't explain what we're going to do, because uh, we can't regrow broken bones. Come on. Yeah, but I have fat. <laughs> How many people can your feather fall affect? As uh, let's see. Well, I can just like go down to the bottom and cast it as they fall. So like do one at a time. But um, I'll look at the actual limit of feather fall. For some reason, I want to take three or four for, for casting. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So um, up to five creatures. So yeah, I could like take some of us down and then let the others jump and catch them with a spell. <laughs> Plus, I mean, we have a griffin, so he could take trips. It's, it's not really a... True. So, a whole encounter... No, a, a whole encounter uh, basically made trivial by Terry. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Yeah, so who who's mm. taking the griffin? Who's doing the jump of fate? Mm, I will... Ride the griffin, yes. Yeah. No. I'm assu I'm assuming either just a question just a question. Is anybody gonna take the fucking leap of fate? That's that's the main question I have to ask. I'm willing. Okay. <laughs> You're willing. I'll look down at Vorum, smile, and jump. <laughs> oh what? I'm jumping oh, too. Everybody, oh well, fuck it. Jump, jump, fuck it. Everybody <laughs> jumps. So Terry, Terry, now comes the question: Are you gonna cast Featherfall? Yes, yes, I, I will cast Featherfall. Yeah. So all of you like, well, yeah, like, you're like, I'm I'm uh, all of you are like, yes, this stranger will definitely help us. And then you suddenly start to gain momentum, like you go full free fall and you're like getting real close and you don't feel a bit more. And like 15 feet, you just like start to glide slowly, like, fuck. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much just shrugging. I'm just like, if this is the end, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. A few minutes pass, and the griffin takes the rest uh, up from above to below. And all of you are now downwards. Uh, what you basically see, uh, just a, like a good 40 feet, is quite a lot of blood in, like, uh, in the nice snow. Just a lot of fucking blood snow. And yeah, just like a nice pool. That is, has been frozen over. And uh yeah, it, it doesn't look nice. A lot of a lot of blood has been spilled here. But besides that, uh, the tracks continue where we're lucky to go. Where would you like to go? Smells like home. Like home. <laughs> <sighs> I mean... What I grew up on a farm and slaughter our animals there. <laughs> Well, I mean, nice I guess save. We can on. If the fall hasn't killed us, we're still here. I guess we continue on. Keep testing fate. Yeah. Keep testing fate. Fate, you say? Okay, fair enough. 
Uh, roll me a d10 then, please, I beg you. <laughs> Since you're one eager to test faith, please. Oh my god. It's always eights or twos, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what is with the number eight. Ugh. <laughs> oh. right. How many so, eights are you rolling? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> so. The sky is slowly oh, clearing. The wind is slowly subsiding. And the sun in the sky is in its full glory, more or less. But still... The snow and ice remains on the ground. It's still cold. And let me just quickly roll another one of these. It's an eight. <laughs> uh, okay, they take 22 additional. So, in total, at the moment, I think it's 39 cold damage. I think you could probably heal them. I feel so, like a... so, the orc. Uh, Dothkin and Chud are suffering 39 cold damage. There's there's quite a few um there's quite a few what's it called um point not points or signs of frostbite on each of them. So that's great. Hey. Hey you, freezing your butt off. Why don't you hug the bird? Warm feathers. Fur. Well, both, but, you know. Just get in between its wings. Serve as a makeshift coat, right? <laughs> you're- you're offering your fucking griffin to whom? <laughs> well, um, it has two wings, so two people could get on either side of it oh, and have yeah. the wing kind of Okay, so one side Chad, the other side the prince. Now the orc just fucking freezing his ass off and mumbling angry. Well, I mean, he's a lot more constitution than they do. So, I'm-, I'm anyone got a healing spell? I think that's the, uh, that's Maybe. the response. <laughs> I mean, we do want to make sure our heavy hitter is like, oh, you know, we want to make sure he's good enough in case they fight break though. I mean, he did literally, literally jump into the belly of the beast for us, so I'll take it. I think that's uh... So yeah, it's cold. Of... It's cold. Um, yeah, I'll pop an aura of vitality and them back up. Oh boy. Oh. Yep. So. Doesn't fix the exhaustion, but at least they'll have their health back. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Now comes the question. Uh, what you. Uh, traversing for this uh, thick uh, forest of pine, you. Come to a plain, like uh, just nothing, no, no forest, no nothing, for maybe a few miles. Just a sudden end, and just you look around, just like empty fields. The tracks of the werewolves go through them, but there is literally no cover, no shading, no nothing, and it's just. White open field with occasional nudges, uh, highs and lows in the dirt and the earth. Quite the view. Does, does this look normal or like this area was affected somehow? Uh, like, does it look natural? Yes. Uh, well, first thing you realize, it definitely doesn't look natural because there's just a bunch of trees and they just stop and there's just fields. Yeah. 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 Like, last time we came across something like this, we ended up stepping through to another plane. Um... And had a conversation with the giant... Ow. So. Oh, maybe this time we'll be speaking to a giant wolf. 
That'd be mm. interesting. Wait, they're wolves? <laughs> I mean, they're uh, well. Uh -huh. Ah. So, ham was the wrong word. <laughs> I mean. Possibly. Yeah. This is what we were looking for a old grandmotherly looking werewolf type person, so. So I mean, since it's open fields, we could get a uh, sky view and see if there's any structures around. It's gonna be like that uh, dwarven fairy tale, where Little Red has to take the alcohol to her grandmother. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Just to avoid the goblins on the way, and then when she gets there, the uh, the wolf is the grandmother. Yeah. Um. So, going high up, um, there is just emptiness. As far as you can go up, dense, if not more hmm. miles, just of emptiness plains. I feel... Mm, it's not like... Not a single structure, not a single human, just plains. Just plains. Okay. It's like a branch or like a stick or something. I just feel like I want to throw something before walking. Uh, you chuck the, you chuck the, you ch uh, you just snatch a branch from one of the trees and just chuck it in the in the plains, and just destroy the plains. Nah, the the stick lands and it's just it's just there. How how well I got it to your heads that you look at, a, at like a like open field and like something is not right. So, it, it, you know, we're kind of paranoid. Freaking paranoia. Okay. All right, I guess. Well, four. Looking, wait, do we like see the tracks from the, the wolves? Do they go into yeah. this field? Yes, yes, I told you. They literally go with just a like, oh, Okay. Perhaps. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Alright, so. Four? Yes? <laughs> I'm just looking yes. at all the. I'm looking at all the youth, just like hoping someone's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's hesitant, but no one's willing to back away up to the. <laughs> I'm just like, and I and I see no reactions. I'm like, oh, okay, fuck, and I just like, <laughs> I walk forward. Okay. I'm I'm just gonna. Well, well, again, again, roll me every single saving throw and all to your saving death saving throws. You mean no, no, you just walk in and it's like, yeah. <laughs> All of the saving throws. Yeah. <laughs> Find charisma yeah. saving throw by walking into a place. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta intimidate the field. Charisma and wisdom and intelligence to see if I just go freaking crazy. Yeah, you just... <laughs> the psychological warfare gets into you, man. So! Yeah, you're in the field a few uh, feet from the tree line and you feel cold. Yeah. Should we be walking like openly in this field, or should we just like stick to the tree line and keep the field in sight? <laughs> well, tracks lead forward. We go forward. <laughs> yep. They scratched up my tiny hut. Now we are bringing the fight to them. Oh my! Yeah, God. I mean, I could turn you into it if you want to stay warm. Alright, onward. Onward, roll me a d10 as you're walking this plains <laughs> and eventually lose track of the tree line behind you. And now you're just walking. Oh, it's an eight! <laughs> you're walking. There's the, the sun in the gray sky. And you're just walking, and there's literally nothing else besides the fucking harsh wind blowing. Uh, also, just... 
Just give me a second. <laughs> Another A. <laughs> the orc takes four cold damage from. Like, no, 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 wait. I did 46 additionally. God damn it. Having some trouble there. <laughs> uh, 20 cold damage additionally to the orc. Orc, orc. Okay. So yeah, you're traversing through the fields. It's fucking shit. It's literally walking like it, it's just walking on white snow and occasionally crunching on ice. Question. Yes. Still following these yes. <laughs> yes, you do notice the footprints still are there. It's not snowing, so they are not covered. So you're fine. So Um Roll me another d10. Alright, uh, let's see if we can test. Knowing it. Uh, okay. Oh! Right, we'll oh! Oh! Okay, roll me a d4. Alright. Please, please be a 4. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. So! Um. <laughs> you traverse. And uh, suddenly a blizzard just goes in full blast. Just like starts howling and just like I don't know, just the wind picks up and your vision becomes limited. Uh only a few minutes before the blizzard goes into full swing, you start to lose track of the winter wolves. Like the pad the the the, the what's truck. yeah. Uh but interestingly enough though, you all start to hear Sounds of moos and bells. Um, divine, we're gonna divine sense. <laughs> <We're cows>. <laughs> <laughs> now, no, no Warren, that you gave me an idea. Give me a second. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use the divine sense. Just uh, we're just gonna. Uh, you, you, you sense no evil, nor, no, as you, as you stumble up, do you stumble upon the, the sounds of bells and mooing? <laughs> I mean, I mean, do we? It's kind of a bit too weird to ignore, <laughs> just walk on past. <laughs> I mean, Hearing strange sounds in a blizzard that just kicked up out of you know, I mean, blizzard comes out of nowhere, and then we start hearing mooing and. I mean, I mean, yeah, because we we have to assume it's like some kind of shelter, <laughs> like a farm. I mean, it could be, or it could just be like a freaking monstrosity cow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I'm not sure what your hut can take, but if it comes down to it, I can whip up a makeshift shelter. Okay. Um, so, uh, you start to hear a bunch of moves, and you come closer, and you start to see these very woolly, big, sturdy creatures. A bit, uh, maybe six, seven foot uh, tall, and like six to eight foot uh, wide. Um... Uh, Give me a second. Let me just quickly redo this. Uh, yeah, they just they just look like you get some wide creatures. No, 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 no. They're heavily furred uh, muffalos oh. that do move, but now you realize that it's like not like cowish move, but more like deeper, like uh, a screech. As you hear a herd, as you hear a herd, like the whole herd, maybe twenty or some, maybe more, and then you realize. As you look around, that none of them actually have a bell, and you realize that they are formed in a circle formation, and whoever uh, does the bell motion is inside of the circle. What would you like to do? Uh, I mean, we, we, 
we we see something doing a bell motion in in the middle of these things moving. Uh, no, you hear the bell, so you assume there's someone in the middle with a bell because you don't see any bells on those these creatures. But they're walking in this. They're walking. I would say you don't know which direction they're walking because it's blizzard at the moment, so you don't really see the sky. But you know that none of them are wearing any bells or something that rings. But inside of this circle, something is ringing the bell. Okay. Well, the, I, is the circle moving towards us or away from us? Uh, it was oh, walking yeah. basically sideways. Like, it was moving from oh. left to right as you were close. It... Okay. I mean, I say we go in. I mean, we could just pick one of us to go in if you're worried about a situation unfolding. I don't really like animals. I'd happily glad. <laughs> I'd happily, um guard mr voices over here if we want to so who's gonna go inside the woolly ma muffalos who's gonna go inside the muffalos I, mm, to be. I can try to stealth up oh. quietly and i don't think that. <laughs> i mean you can try to put it I'm pretty sure he's, really like half, he's like halfway buried in the snow anyway. So okay, so Warum, roll me a stealth check. <laughs> to creep up on the cows. Um... Well, basically go past the barricade inside the fucking cows. Mm. Uh, mm. I should, wait, does that mean I could probably cast Enhance Ability on him? He might need it. Do I get, yeah, do I get any... From the fact I'm in the middle of a blizzard. Hey, you can roll advantage if you want. Yay. <laughs> Yay, advantage. <laughs> oh boy. Woo wee! Woo wee! 27. So! I literally, yeah, like you said, like my beard is so covered in snow. Just okay. like my torso. So, is uh, you start, you, you realize that there is no open in the circle, so you decide to just squeeze through one of the, like, they're, they're moving slowly, like, maybe 20, 25, like, slowly just making their way with each heavy stumps. So you decide to just go and sneak, like, below, because they have quite enough of a gap, be, like, mm. in the belt, so, like, just mm -hmm. sneak in. And you go in into the middle, and as soon as you go into the middle, you immediately flash by a blinding light, and you you're like blinded, and you suddenly have a sensation of you getting grabbed. Uh, also, you, also you you start to feel incredibly warm. Uh, as you as you as you open your eyes, like you try to see, you start to see all around green and. Just like a, a midsummer, uh, like midsummer, um, uh, like fields, like, like fully, uh, like fully warm midsummer, everything is nice. And the creature who's holding you is a woman with very long black hair, but her entire skin is shimmering blue and her eyes are eyes piercing blue as she just kind of stares at you and just kind of chucks you back onto the ground with a single hand well you're an interesting little creature who are you got lots huh? of fella yes yes <laughs> let's go with that yeah um who I you might I ask? She she opens her mouth, um, and then closes with us with a smile. Um, is there anybody else around? I don't really like repeating myself. Um, I am going to. Uh... What what is my impression of this woman? Can I do like an insight check? Uh, well, she 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 has literally blue, like glowing blue skin, piercing blue eyes that are glowing. She she 
has this staff that is uh, like a normal looking old crooked staff but with with on the top of the staff there's a blue shimmering lantern and her clothes look similar like a once of a shepherd i am going to just kind of stare uh look up and down and then kind of pause and then go they're over there and point back the way i came <laughs> then invite them over or i move oh. on my own ways i'll do that i'll be right back you just I'll yeah you just immediately you immediately get just up go and leave the cow so yeah you literally go under it and immediately you just suddenly have like that like from warm summer and you're like half the beard has melted off the ice immediately you just go back to the blister it's just dark it's like fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah literally i'm just like the, the the second i stand up just the snow is back in my face um i'm a bit confused so, uh, you, yeah, you lot just kind of see me coming back, trudging through the snow. Um, <laughs> ah! Are you okay? Yes. I, I think so, yes. You hearing think, my voice? Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Um, uh, I think we should all go over there. I, why? Yes, in lack of um, in, in lack of other options, I think we should go talk to to this person I've just met. And I think you should stab yourself, but that doesn't make it sound convincing. I mean, come on. Oh, Julie what? gives me those suggestions all the time. <laughs> I don't need any more. Uh, Listen, I'm... we're freezing to death out here. It's not going to be any different. In cows. You would be surprised. They're very okay. um, insulating animal. <laughs> All right. I can put an insight check on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't need to roll insight check. You see, half of his beard is basically soaking wet and kind of warm, and it's now catching the fucking icicles again. All right. What aren't you saying? Who's over there? <laughs> 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 He's like, uh, uh, uh not gonna oh, lie. Sake. Quite a okay, I duck under the cow. She <laughs> could <laughs> quite what? And catch that. I just, uh, I'm going back. I'm going to check. I'm going to check if it's safe. Just. Okay. Oh, God. Just it seems... I, I'm gonna follow him. I, I I'm gonna let him go him. first. Because yeah. I wanna see what happens. I wanna see if anything happens when he goes under. Okay, <laughs> so you go under the slow moving buffaloes or muffaloes. And it turned, the first thing you fucking feel is just a fucking sudden rush of heat and a flashbang as your fucking eyes are just fucking full, fully just bright light just everywhere it's like and you just start to recoil in agony <laughs> um, uh, um and uh warum same for you 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 go in and you still get the fucking flash of light but you go quite quite adaptively back to seeing everything as you're just kind of moving for this nice field in the middle of like nowhere it's pretty nice chill and uh yeah um the creature uh just looks at you warum is it all i'm i i i put my hand through the wait i'm gonna i'm gonna just cast sense um evil for, just to be responsible before calling them back <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna <laughs> I mean, it's probably nothing, but I'm, I'm just going to do Divine Sense just the fourth time today. <laughs> uh, if I if I remember correctly, uh, the, uh, Divine <laughs> Sense uh, it gets angels, demons, and fiends, right? Yeah, I, I can use it up to uh, seven times a day. Um, well, okay, so you can use... 
strong evil registers as a sense of like noxious odor. Uh -huh. So it's it's not uh, fine sense. Sorry. No, no, no. What what happens with the angel? Oh, with an angel. Um, let's see. Um. It says celestial. celestial. So what's what's be, celestial? Like, what's celestial? Um, they're usually more like heavenly beings or mysterious in that sense. It's a bit vague, but they're basically um, not. They're basically spiritual beings almost. I'm I'm say I'm asking what what do you sense when you have a celestial being in front of you, dumbass? <laughs> Oh, okay. Why? Um, why are you giving me a description of a celestial being when you a when I ask what what do you feel as a? Uh, okay. Never um, mind. All right. So uh, let's see. And powerful good rings like heavenly music ring in your ears. That's basically that. That's what yeah. I hear. You you are standing in the presence yeah, okay. of a celestial. Like. Hmm. All right then. Um. I um. I like. I poke just my hand out with a thumbs up. <laughs> you don't even wanna. You don't wanna even like get your face out because it's fucking cold outside. I it's flashbang myself again. Yeah. So all of you, all of you, assume go in because uh, Dawkins is also gonna go in because he's like the spine Griffin and the whole that he's like nah fuck that it just goes in. Just Oh, same with the is. same with the rest. Mm -hmm. All right. I just I just look back at Julian. I'm like, okay, here we go again. So all of you just fucking flashbang, eerie noise, sudden heat. You're feeling terrible, anxious, miserable, and then you finally snap out and back, and you just see open, uh, blue sky. Warm, warm for all around. It's maybe like 20 something degrees. You're beyond toasty. This is heaven. <laughs> As uh, let's see. Yeah. So, what would you like to do? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna have my uh, weapons out just, just in case. Just, just, just have them out. I'm just standing there with my arms crossed, and I'm like, yep, here we go. Another plane. Another freaking deity or whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh, look so the last time I mean, did this, we I mean, I mean as, soon, as soon as you give that little uh, nice remark, uh, again, uh, the person just turns at you and says, "Well, if you don't like it here, you can always leave. I'm not keeping you here." Mm. <laughs> no, no, yeah. just, shake, just shake my head. No, it's quite fine here. Thank you. Yeah. So basically, sh she's just guiding. She's in the middle, occasionally doing her bell, and the sound of the beasts around the echo in this. As they just kind of chill and walk this what? nice little plane. And basically what you see now, just like from this place, it looks like exactly the same point where you've been just now, just like middle summertime. It's nice. And they're just traveling. Uh, they're traveling westward. Question. Yes. Um. Can I do a religion check to see if I know um, anything about this creature? Sure, roll me a uh, celestial. Alright, so that's... Here we go. Gosh darn it. <laughs> it's not uh, religion, this is all I can Give Unless someone wants to help me, but give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, I, I right, had right. some stuff in the DMs real quickly. Yeah, thank you. Uh, no, you, you, you don't seem to recall any any creature that is just blue, like like blue shimmering skin, and hurting a bunch of fucking creatures. Also, can have a different time zone in its own vicinity. This is something new. 
So now, now my curiosity is peaked. I kind of throw away the sword. I have the shield out, but the, <laughs> you the sword is put away. <laughs> you throw away the sword? <laughs> no, no. I just, I'm just putting it in its holster. It's, uh -huh. I, I'm no longer brandishing yeah. the weapon. It's, yeah. It's in the... <laughs> Yeah, I thought it would be a sign of disrespect if I kept that out. <laughs> oh yes, it would. but um, <laughs> um, but I kind of I, I I kind of like to just like slowly walk closer, with very um curious eyes in that sense. There's kind of a peeking, and they're like, who uh, are you? So, uh, so first of all, uh, when she stops. The whole herd stops immediately, like, just, like, the herd moves as she moves in any direction, and as soon as she stops, immediately all of them stop. Uh, and she just stops, stares blankly, just forward, and then just kind of looks at you, Terry. Well, you don't really know me, so I guess I shouldn't tell you, should I? That's not a fun way to treat strangers, but let, let me start. I'm Terry. I'm the uh, protector of these individuals over here, and I serve Charisma. Okay, and she just begins to walk uh, towards the field, like towards again, towards West, and minding her own business. I guess she's not a... Um, I guess she's not used to uh, human manners. Mm. <laughs> and kind uh, of just... I, I, I look over to Julia and like I point to it that, that she was talking in your head. I'm assuming. Um, is the voice the same? What what the voice the same? Is the voice that we're hearing in front of us the same that I heard nope. in my head when the nope. voice back? Nope, it's not. Um, and no, this is this is a different voice. I, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like walk walk back up. All right, so if you don't want to talk about you, could you at least explain what's going on to the area outside of your protective circle? My... She kind of ponders for herself a bit, kind of rubbing her cheek a bit. Um, I guess you could say my plane is the plane I want it to be, and I always love this place in the summertime. So wherever I go with my flock, that's what kind of weather I get. I assume it's quite miserable outside, isn't it? Probably raining. Actually, it's snowing. Oh, it's winter already. Huh. Well, that is one thing I did want to bring up. There's a very unnatural feast in the forestry around us. Or outside of your circle, of course. Uh, uh, what is it this time? Is it the trolls, the giants, or maybe a dragon? I'm unsure. I was hoping you would have some insight. Werewolves is all we've managed to pick up so far. Nasty ones at that. I don't really care for the material plane. I walk it, but I don't really care for it. And uh, and to answer your question, she looks at you, Warum. My name is Tu, the Great Shepherd of the Northern Arctic. Oh. How north so that are we talking? <laughs> she kind of po pokes her stick north if you like back from where you came if you go there and you travel say on mount for a week or so uh, you'd probably just reach endless ice well in good news we know which direction we're not going so if you know the location, do you know where the closest human settlement is then? And we would happily leave you to your flock. 
Oh, oh the the morals and their. Uh, so she kind of rubs her fucking temple like fucking confused. We are quite fragile. Uh, last I know, Trugmar City is maybe two months walk south. Ah, south. Thank you. I'll leave you be then. Uh, Actually, okay. And she kind of continues walking. <laughs> Is there anything you need from us? Uh, I guess... What year is it? I'm not actually uh, sure I know that much. Uh, <laughs> Julie Gan Terry. It's 20... Oh, it's, no, it's 294 of the 5th era. Warm, it's 293. <laughs> 293. <laughs> uh... 294, last I checked. Slightly confused for him face. <laughs> it's like, like, the, the dumbass don't know how the calendar works. <laughs> but I don't want him to look bad in front of the... It's uh, okay, we understand. Dwarves aren't good at numbers. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was in my head. I didn't say anything. I'm just like... Mm, all right. <laughs> ah! It's been... <laughs> It's been a good decade and a half since I last seen a mortal. Eh, I guess I guess I can ask you about a bunch of stuff, but then again, I don't really need to know. Um, I don't really. Mm, she kind of couldn't. She she, she kind of just ponders to herself, just goes silent and continues walking. Okay, so I want to approach and uh, forgive my rude behavior before. Can I ask, do you know of a, a, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, an August? An owl god. <sighs> I do know of several gods in this area. Since this place has been long forgotten by humanity, all the mortal races, Twisted things manifest here, claiming their dominion. Whatever. Mm. And she kind of continues walking. Alright, okay. Would one of those she things be a half, like, dead dragon type of monstrosity? She immediately locks eyes with you and just stops in her tracks and just looks full full, like, full face to you. Mm, okay. What, a problem with, with what, do you know, what do you know of this entity? I know that we were, in gesture to the rest of us, were captured in the this area with this half thing, and it tried to chase us. We barely escaped with our lives. You see, you see her eye twitch, and but she says nothing. Uh. Uh. She just, she just looks a bit confused and looks around. Oh, oh! I need to go. I need to go. Ah. Uh, uh, Could do you, I... do you need to go anywhere? Because I might help you if you need to go anywhere. But at the moment, I need to go. I need to go. She looks, she 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 looks like she looked like 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 a girl like a per, like a girl who just daydreamed for a while. Now she looks like she just like oh god, I was supposed to go somewhere. Oh no, <laughs> like uh, anywhere close to here. <laughs> Um, well, I would like to know more about this. It seems like a major issue, and we're involved somehow, so if we could help you, and you could help us. Something with that, you shouldn't really not even try to help. Uh, 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 mm, fuck, well. shit, no, 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 I sealed it away, how did... 
Well, if you'd like to know, because there's more involved, there was more people trying to tame. More? This. Tame? Yeah. Tame? Yes. You, you see all of the fucking... All of the fucking creatures just kind of immediately do a uh, fucking nine degrees and looks at all of you. Yes. There was a facility, a place built to try to contain this creature. Why is this the first I'm hearing of this? <laughs> I don't know, Terry. You've been busy doing judge <laughs> stuff. I don't know. And I just like hold up a finger and just like, like don't speak. <laughs> I was like, uh, there was a facility built. There was this freaking dwarf who had us all captured. I mean, we don't know what's going on here. No one's explaining. So, again, if we could be of some service and figure out what's going on. And then um, he's going to show, like, the priest. Do you know about these things? She just goes silent. Oh, God. Why? Why? I had, I had a simple task. And I did it. Four centuries ago. And now you're telling me that somebody decided to... Oh, uh, she, she looks visibly angry and confused. Like she, she looks like a fucking, uh, like um. I don't even know how to describe, it, but she looks like uh. She, she's just fucking. She 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 looks distraught and doesn't know even con like what to do. Um. Uh, listen, there's obviously something going on here. You had a task. You thought you did it. You weren't aware because you locked yourself into this this place. I mean, I don't blame you. I don't like the outside, but a lot has happened. And I mean, there's some people over there playing with life and death in that area with that creature. And we were going to be the next subjects, victims. I, I don't know. She, she she just she 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 doesn't seem like she's even listening to you. She, she just looking at you, but like she she's just fucking doing her own calculations in her head, and then she just kind of uh, looks back at like north east. From the way you kind of came from, just kind of looks at it for a while. Ah, I need to go. I need to go. Uh, and she kind of just shoves her staff, like shoves her staff towards you again, and all of you. Where do you need to go? Cause I need to go. Huh. Um, I, I would like, I would like yeah, to go. Where yeah, do you rather go? Far north. I'd like to go south. Name a place. We. I don't know that's the issue. The location of the Witch of the West. <laughs> <laughs> she she looks you kinda of pokes pokes the you pokes the staff as you can and you see the the staff, the lantern is emanated an insane amount of heat in the mere moments. And she just asks where <laughs> As her eyes start to like actually light up. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, guys! I Look, we don't know where to go. We're trying to figure this out. Ah, uh, mm. you know where Bluestone is? Bluestone, gotcha. And she just kind of whacks the staff to the ground. Um, and. A sudden flash of light to all of you, blinding again. This time there's the more uh, sunny, uh, uh, very extreme warmth. Uh, but there is no, uh, there is no actual like uh, cold any. Also, you're kind of all just kind of miserable and wet. The first thing you hear, Julie, and the first thing you see, Julie, 
is the clashing of the waves against the beachhead and you see the familiar white sand. Uh, you look around and you see the familiar coastline and you see to your east a city in the distance. Your birthplace, your hometown, the town of bards and artists alike, the, Jew, the sapphire jewel of the south, bluestone. So, mm. with that being said and done, I guess we're gonna call it. Because I need to make a new map. Bluestone. Oh boy. Uh, well, you just... That was effective. <laughs> Did you just take us to the place where you got arrested? <laughs> Absolutely not. This is it's, my like, it's, it's like four... Yeah, it's like four hours from, <laughs> from getting arrested. Mm. Oh boy. Oh... Many choices, many things he could have done, many places he could have gone. He decided to go there, do that, and say that. So, hey, at least you're no longer in the middle of fuck knows where. Um, ah, so, with that being said and done, I guess we're going to call it. So, um, yeah. You got exactly say, 15 seconds to say whatever the fuck you want before I'm shutting the stream down with no survivors. Uh, civilization at last? <laughs> Question mark. Home sweet home. Well, for the glory and fits. <sighs> uh.